Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase here on the channel. The Subnautica Flow mod is updated once again. This is update 1.1.8, the Lava River update for Minecraft 1.20.1. If you guys have been enjoying the mod showcase for this mod on the show, consider as always leaving a like on the video, subscribing if you're new, and of course the download for this mod and all of its update goodness will be linked in the description. You can check it out for yourselves. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you're most excited for this update. Let's get into it. So the first thing that's been added in this update is the lava larva. This being the lava river update, the lava river was a lava river was a piece of location slash land in the Subnautica mod that added in all these cool creatures. So we are going to check out the lava larva on land. This is what it looks like. 15 health. It's pretty cute. It has unique properties. When the lava larva swims over redstone blocks, redstone lamps, it will stick itself onto it and will absorb it. When absorbing redstone power, it will regenerate its HP. So let's plop a few of these into the water here. And I'll actually get this redstone. So what did it say specifically? Redstone lamps and redstone blocks. So redstone block, redstone lamp. All right, guys, it's feeding time. Enjoy. And there they go. As you can see, it is actually absorbing the energy of the redstone. And after which, it should completely destroy the block, according to at least what this said. Yep, as you can see, it did. And is this one going to go for the redstone lamp? No, it didn't want to. Okay, that's cool. Maybe they'll eat that later. Otherwise, the next thing is the lava lizard. So the lava lizard specifically does not have any sort of information yet, but this is what it looks like on land. 50 health, 5 armor bars. This is what it looks like in the water. So it's going to swim around. Again, pretty powerful creature. I assume it is hostile. Again, no information specified for it, but it, it's swimming around. So we got that guy. And then the final thing added with the update is the river prowler. So the river prowler... So the river prowler is the only creature that spawns in river biomes, but also deep oceans at the moment. River prowler has a unique item that's only available to be acquired via command right now. So I'm not going to show that off just in case that's supposed to be for something in the future. And there is an achievement for killing this thing. So this is what it looks like on land. 40 health, pretty terrifying. And in the water, there it is. So this thing, again, will be spawning in river biomes, believe it or not. So you're going to have to watch out for that creature, of course. And other than that, the other new addition was that the PDA now has a specific crafting recipe. So it is crafted with redstone, tinted glass, ironing it, two, I two iron nuggets, and four redstone lamps. And there is my Prowler achievement for obviously defeating the Prowler. So these are the new creatures. You guys can let me know in the comments who you like the most, which design you like the most, which one you're most intimidated by. And there's a few changes as well. They've changed the reach of the symbiotes now being a bit less. They've changed the snow stalkers, baby and adult spawn only in frozen rivers now. Changed that peepers and bleeders now also spawn in rivers. The arctic peepers now also spawn in frozen rivers and remove the glowing effect from the arctic peeper, peeper and bleeder. So guys, that is pretty much it for this update. It's a short update. It came out sort of sporadically. I didn't expect this after already uploading a video today, but I decided to upload a second video just because this update's brand new and fresh off the shelves. I figured you guys would want to see it, but not too much added in other than these two, three new fish. Again, really excited for this update to see more of it in the future. What else is going to be added in? I'm not entirely well versed on all the Subnautica creatures, so I'm not sure which ones we don't have yet versus all the ones that we do. Someone can let me know if there's a specific one that you know of that we are missing and, you know, we'll see how that goes if that's going to be added in the future or not. But either way, I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.